manager. He has like he put on like a fucking stone and wrote in crayon like crayon on it. Who is this? Rengar. <laughs> That's big green. Oh. Uh... Promotion. Oh, well, well done, big guy. Uh, you guys want to? Your characters don't know about what you guys did. About your characters don't know about what each one did. Oh, that makes sense. Actually, the staff members are right there for you, man. Can you see them? Yep. I made your staff members. Nope. That was something I was working on. As you're doing that, Wisp walk in. See, food's ready. Yeah, remember doing the interviews? He went to a cook. He's back with the food. That's the turtle? Or... Uh huh. Okay. Ah, okay. So it took him from last night till now to cook that meal? <sighs> No, it's the same day, isn't it? It's the same day. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, we just this, we just yeah, yeah. it's been from the morning, now it's the afternoon. To make one Oh, this ain't gonna work. Well, I mean, obviously to make like a lot of food, I'm assuming. <laughs> Let's see how this is. He didn't make a lot of food. What do you make one plate? I have mastered your wedges. I added some green on top of it. Try it. It tastes great. I improved your sauce as well. Try it. Uh, let's... Uh, let me uh, see uh, how well he's going to do with that food. So, when the minute you taste in, you can taste like there's oregano Time in it now. Like he added some spices to build it up a little bit. Yes, actually. The sauces have also been improved just by a little. Not a great improvement, but at least a little improvement. Or at least head chef usually. Yeah, oversee the kitchen maybe. You could oversee the kitchen and then tell people what to do. I mean, eventually we could build a smoker and he could be in charge of like long process cooking. I've never done a smoker before, but I'm willing to try. Figure it's right up your alley with it taking forever. I'll get started for the party now. He turns around and walks back to the kitchen. Yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, Galleon? What? What do you find in your research? Well, what I found in my research is that the only place that compares to our prices is the portal. The portal seems to be on par with our regular drinks. 
but their food isn't as good. But they did come up with something that is not too bad. We might be able to improve on with mushrooms for food wise. But our food and drinks beat prob probably every every other place around. As you guys are discussing stuff, uh, the deliveries are starting to come in. You received your gross, your, um, hold on, you're from your farmer, Wayne, just arrived. Indeed. Farmer Wayne? Yep. Cool, let's go in my notes. <laughs> He's delivered uh, your your stock from him. As well as the bakery just arrived with the uh, bread. How much did they end up giving us? They actually guys give you about 150. Neat. Full supply from Wayne's. And as that guy, the butcher, was arriving right right behind him for that delivery. Uh, Harold wants to know, what do we do with all this food? Where do we put it? Um, food salad? We, we, Don't we have two different sours when we use one for like a food salad? Ah, I'll go clean the section for you so we can store food. It's fucking better. <laughs> and and we also have the pantry for some things. So as they're doing that, a guy walks into the front door. Uh, excuse me, is there in uh, a drill here? I'll take a moment to compose myself. Hi, I am Arterell. How can I help you? Oh, oh, oh sorry. Uh, the boss miswrote your name. Of course he did. Mr. Ar Arterell, is it? Yes. Um, I, uh, we are having problems getting your ale tonight. Uh, the boss sent me to let you know right away. We run into an issue at our facility. Um, what kind of issue? Something's gotten out of... Well, um, I don't know if I can tell you, but um, we have an issue right now. We're trying to solve it. Uh, we're working really hard to, to fix it. Uh, we're hoping to get some kind of product to you ASAP. We didn't realize we were low on on stock, so we started brewing some fresh stuff for you when something occurred. Is it something that can be murdered to be solved? Because I can help with that. Um, or is there something that money could solve? If you want to assist, I think we won't have a problem with that. Um, okay, cool. You just have to sign some NDA stuff that whatever you see in there, you can't talk about. Sure, as long as we get discounts. Oh, uh, no. You know, you're, you're, you're that. There's some secret recipe stuff we do, so we can't let you talk about it, but I'm sure the boss will oh, work no. something with like, you if you signing, help us out. Signing, yes, yes. Signing the NDA, not an issue. I understand okay. secrecy. So, so will you be coming with me then? Um, yes. I like, I like battle. Uh, you too as well? Okay. Um, we have the full crew working on it right now. Mm, well, part of the crew now. We had a full crew working on the issue. Ah, yes. I love a good problem murder can solve. Ragnar's like, I got this, guys. <laughs> Thank you.
Yeah, the managers, you know, should be able to set things up from here and tell people what to do. We'll handle. Yeah. We'll we'll I mean, handle this guy. We'll handle this, sir. Sir, no problem. You guys go out and handle the situation. We'll get the food in the proper selection. Okay. You know the menu? And just yes. in case we're not back. Okay, cool. Pricing. Off we go. Do we give them a pricing and everything so they know just in case? Um, I still have the original ones written down that, that you were going I'm a little, a little pricey on. Uh, we still stay. Are we still staying at ten gold? No, no I think we changed. Yeah, it. hold on. I've, we I've fit, got. We I've, fit it on a... the prices. I have them actually written down in the uh, Excel sheet that I linked to our Facebook chat. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that that was linked in here. Okay, tavern cost. Yes. Click. Yep. You're looking so items are listed in column A. What they sell for is listed in column B in mm -hmm. silver. So you wrote this all on a napkin real quick for him. Yes. Okay, I, I see. I see. I will make sure that this is properly sold. Yes. At, at what you have at what you yes. have stated, sir. Yes. Those those prices are in silver. Uh all right, I got you. Uh, we will handle this uh, right away, sir. Nito Benito. Uh, anything else, sir, before you leave? Um, what time is it now? Uh, you're going into the afternoon, not the evening yet. I mean, I, m m more like so that we can keep track of how long, you, like you have... when the employees start working. So you start at, this whole event starts at what, 7? Okay. Well, I mean, like, because they're if they're starting work now, like they're yeah, doing yeah, their uh, jobs that, right he, now. So as soon as you start walking away, he starts to clean, the the one of the managers claps his hand. Okay, guys, start cleaning up this place. Let's get this prepped. We have a couple hours left before everyone. Our write down your times on a sheet as to what time you start working, which is right now. And uh, yeah. Tell you what you're getting paid later. <laughs> okay, bye. One of the managers just waves you guys off. Go, 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 go. We have this. Go, go, go. We ate all of it already? All right, so as you follow the other guy, he takes you to the docks. He, ta he walks you over to the docks area and starts explaining stuff to you along. Oh, on the way. <laughs> All right, but you got to make me a cup of coffee when you come back. Huh? Okay, so uh, did everybody sign? I got everybody's signature here. Uh oh. As best as possible. Yeah. Yeah. Good, good. Okay, good. And an O cost. I see a what, gallery. On the paper, there. does it say what the repercussions are? Oh, we just get to take everything away from you. That's all. Uh, so, and a Hoff stutter? Yes. That's me. Okay. All right, guys. So, Did you put your full name or just uh, initials? Well, initials are all that's needed. Well, D in here, so. But that's okay. I assure you it's perfectly clear. Don't worry. I wrote down notes on the side so I know who was who. Uh, so he puts it away the paper. Okay, so uh, here's the issue. Uh, we believe someone tam tried to tamper with our stuff. So like put we, poison in it? Not poison. See, we have something already in there. It adds flavoring to it, but normally it's dormant. It sits all the way at the bottom. Dormant yeast. So, no, no, not yeast. This thing actually eats the crust during fermentation. Like, it wakes up, and then it eats the crust, and then it goes back down full. Oh. And then we get to drain it out, and then we don't have to worry about a crust because it eats it. Are you saying we have an ooze? 
in uh, our... no, it is not an ooze. See, we acquired. I'm not sure how the captain got this egg, and I think somebody accidentally dumped the egg in there. And what came from the egg was a kraken. There's a kraken in your beer. It's a booze kraken. Is this so, beer that we're buying? Well, like sure that, that's why so. you that's why you signed for this. This is some, one of our premiums. That what happened to the beer that was in? Your oh, stock this is room the best. Beer. So you guys asked us, and uh, we're you know we're we're filling up your beers, and uh, the only thing is someone woke this thing up before it began the fermentation, so it's kind of running amok in the place. Uh, it's uh, you'll you'll see. We right now have spears. We're trying to we're not trying to kill it, but we're trying to put it back in. So we have to put it to sleep somehow? Yeah, I think if we kind of start chopping a couple of tentacles, it might head back down and hide. Okay. Get rid of... You know, don't hit its main body. We're trying to keep it alive, guys. So... Can you guys see it or not? Oh, yeah. oh my god. I got an idea. So as you guys are walking in, the uh master brewer walks up to you. What's the plan, guy? Uh we uh well, I guess you guys came to give us a hand here. Um this order's for uh, Ardorel, is that? Yep. Yes, hello. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is uh, your order. I guess you decided to give us a hand here now. We don't want to kill the monster. As you can see, its, uh, its tentacles are coming out of the, uh, the main fermentation st stage here. Yeah. We're trying, our guys are just trying to just cut a couple of these tentacles, make, get it scared, and make it go back in the water. Uh, we have, um, you, did you, did, did, did they sign the NDAs before I say anything else? Okay, good. Uh, so that middle section is actually enchanted. It actually goes deep in. The size you see is actually a lot bigger in there. Okay. That's, that's normal. So we let it build up. We, we, and we, we might, might want to learn how to craft something like that. Uh, like Somebody I said, you wrote here the might want to write something down. There is no. Uh, yeah. This is all. This is all copyrighted, guys. Uh, so be aware of this. You did sign the paperwork. Right. Uh, anyways, as you're seeing in front of you here, this is. We put it in. We run it through the machine. We let it sit in there. Creates the little crust section. It that thing's supposed to wake up, eat the crust section, and then we'll see it when it's eating it, and then goes away. And then we begin draining and cooling and all that stuff, and then we begin bottling into the kegs. But uh, apparently someone snuck in here through some type of something in our thing and woke it up. So it, if you plan to dive into the pool, uh, we have some rules. Uh, you have to go wash. Uh, we have sense. we have to go into our disinfect it. It's just water that drains on you, disinfects you. It's I don't think we really plan on going swimming. Well, if it drags you or anything in there, oh, there goes Bob. Uh, like that. If it takes you in the water, at least you won't infect the beer. That must be a humongous <sighs> amount of beer. Oh, I I feel like an, there's an issue with that. Uh... I'm assuming this thing has been eating people? Uh, no, it doesn't eat people. It's supposed to eat the crust that builds up during fermentation. So what's it doing with the people it drags in? Mm, I don't want to think about it right now. Right, no, so I'm just saying that the beer might be infected anyway. 
Well, everybody the, washed up here before well, they went in there. The, right, See, the, but that's the like Kraken surface gonna be relieving itself into the beer, anyways. So the, what the Kraken is, it'll drag it and eat it whole. So I'm not really too worried. I I don't know. So, anyways, you drink that, and then if if anything, we're gonna start, you're gonna eat these leaves. All right, I got a leaf for each one of you. What that does, if you get dragged into that, you can breathe in. Oh, all right. In yeah, the liquid. that makes that works. Um, oh, this doesn't work in water. Water it only works for the booze water. <laughs> oh, it's specialty leaves that allow you to breathe for at least thirty minutes. In beer, got it. Only in beer. It's just in case. So I would actually recommend that the rat go first in washing. I'm sorry, why? Um, I believe is it because you... the fur takes longer to wash. Exactly. See, he understands. Double wash, by the way. Uh, so okay, now you're being racist. So just the rat washes first, the dragon next, and then used you. I'm the cleanest one here. What are you talking about? Uh, you might have some dirt in those scales, so I want to make sure that you know, get it used to get a nice rinsing through the water. <laughs> uh, a lot of this section here, all this is sanitized. So once you pass, once you pass the doorways here, uh, just be be aware that uh, the room is very sanitized. All okay. Right. We thought our ideas were pretty out there. Hmm. Yep. That, just, that sure showed us. So, first walk into the first section. It'll start to spray water everywhere. We're going to do it twice for the rat, twice for the, the dragon-looking guy here, scaly guy. Hmm. And then we'll do it once for you guys. And then once you pass the next section, you'll be issued your leaf. And I wish you the best of luck, guys. Uh, if you do help us out, uh, we might give you a discount for our help today and maybe uh, bring in some more, maybe feel in future discounts as well. For your assistance. Mm -hmm. Fine. You go oh, uh, CC. Might want, you might want to hurry up over there because we just lost another. Yep, yep, yep. We'll go do that thing that you said. As this cat complains, I'm not paying him enough attention. So if each one of you guys go through. You, you walk. It looks like you don't know one of those bio areas you walk through for decontamination. Mm -hmm. It's pretty much like that. First one you walk in, you're just getting like a mist around you, then water spray, then another mist, and then like these air blowers hit you as soon as you pass that section. And then the next part, then the guy walks up to you, gives you a little leaf to put in your mouth. And then all you do is just chew on it. Am I able to, once I get in there, can I cast this spell before we start fighting? Sure. I'm going to do spiritual guardians. It lasts 10 minutes. <laughs> Let me click. That'll on. do it. Oops, level. So in a distance of 15 feet around me. Anything close to me will have its speed slowed down. It has to do a wisdom saving throw when they attack it or something like that. 3d8 damage. All right. So we just move our characters in here. 
Yeah, you can you can start going in. What are these big circles? Uh, those are barrels. All right, guys, can you roll for initiative? Uh, yeah. It's been a while. Oof. Man, I rolled pretty low. <laughs> I okay, rolled a natural roll. one. Gotta love my plus 10 to initiative. Hmm. Oh, wow. I tied with one of the booze cracker things. What's its, what's its dex bonus? Oh, you got six. Oh, no. Oh. I, I got... Well, I, I got the 16. No, Hofstetter. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Where the hell did my paperwork go for the stupid booze cracking? Oh, great. It probably went away. One second. I gotta pull it back up again. Luckily, this Kraken is not a fully developed Kraken. This only has three tentacles. That's the first thing you notice when you uh, come up to it. <laughs> All right, everyone's in there. Let me uh, be, sort out the, the setup here. And Arduril, you first. All right. Da, da, da. Uh, the fact that part of this is vertical and part of this is horizontal is messing with me. Um. You guys are by the warehouse section. Okay. So but once like, you pass... So like once we go through here? Yeah. How yeah, far not, is that? Not... It's actually right here. It's a big open area. These are open, these black lines? No, those are like okay. shelvings. Uh, All right, so like uh, it's... You know like in the center of a warehouse, there's a shelvings? Yeah, up to the wall. Yeah, yeah. Yep, that's what that is. Okay. And then the section you're walking in right now is more of the open section with the machinery. Okay. All right. So, so these are just standing tall. So it starts like somewhere right here. The machinery going up. Yeah. Okay. But like, so like, where should I be standing? If like, you want to hit it, somewhere around these squares right here. Okay. Like, so I'm standing where I am right now. How far away from the thing am I? Uh, one, two, three, four, five squares. What, what about this thing? That's going horizontal, it's going straight up. Yeah, okay, that's why this is confusing. Yeah, sorry. Would you like me to draw your line? Could you draw just like a box around it? Uh, the hit area, red. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's its there's its area. Okay. And it's it's hit air it's hit area it can go it could go three one two yeah three squares. Okay. So up to where the tentacles are. Yep. Three in any direction. Okay. So all we really gotta do is just take out some tentacles. I mean, really, we can just stay at a distance to take out the tentacles. Yeah. Uh, let me read something real quick before I decide what I'm doing. Uh, so am I what thirty feet from it? Uh, what are these five? Five. So one fifteen. 
roughly. Okay. So I am going to cast Witch Bolt. Witch Bolt. Yes. Well, that's a natural 20 to hit. Oh, shit. Um, uh, which are you going for? Tentacle one, two, or three? Uh, you know, it says creature, so I think I'm targeting the creature. And Creatures, I, the cre the physical creature is still inside. Right, but I mean, the tentacles are part of it, so I don't know. Like, I'm counting the tentacles as its own health because you just got to get rid of all three. Oh. Okay, well then yeah, I guess whichever one's closest to me. Could you just so put that's... like a, a symbol, a little circle on the board for each tentacle? So as it moves around, uh, we'll know where just, it is. You just got to tell me which tentacle you're going to okay. hit. Uh, I don't know, whichever one is closest to me. Or I guess which, yeah. Um, so yeah, that one. Um, and I deal 12 damage. Uh, and then... Did you it get, get more uh, because it was crit? Yes, that's already included. Um, Minus. Now, on each of my turns for the duration of this spell, I can do the same thing. Uh, oh, no, I can use my action to deal 1d12 lightning damage to the target automatically. The spell ends if I use my action to do anything else. Cool. Um, bonus action. What can I do as a bonus action? Not a whole lot. Um, yeah. All right. That's, uh, that's my turn. Uh, what's your AC? Mine? Oh, I'm sorry, not yours. Oh. Uh, one of the tentacles grabs uh, one of the guys oh. nearby him. Rip. Galleon, you're up. My turn. All right. How are we moving through here again? Yeah, go around. Like this way. Or you can go left or you can go right. But I have to go around it. Yep. Gotcha. <laughs> she likes ice cream. <clears throat> now we'll fire an Eldritch Blast to try to free this guy. Seventeen. <laughs> Seventeen hit. Get me it Hello. does not. Huh. Seventeen does not hit. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Anything else you can try? I basically used up all my actions, so that's really it. Damn it. It reaches for another one of them, but he fails to grab it. Hopstetter, you're up. Okay. I'm just going to start running down.
One, two, three, four, five. Uh, and then I can just keep going straight down from here, I assume. So, bonus action to move and Hurts. another one, two, three, four, five, down to there. That's my whole turn. Oh, you, you speed ran. Yep. Gotcha. Double move, bonus move. The other tentacle manages to grab the other person. Okos. Yeah. Can I see any of the tentacles? Yep. Going to use my crossbow. Actually, I'm going to use Sacred Flame. So that is 60 foot range fire like radiance. You have to do a dexterity saving throw. Everybody in that circle? I know just one of the tentacles. So the one that's holding this guy here. Oh, uh, what's, what's the number he has to bit? Oh, yeah. Dexterity no, saving he's, throw. Uh, it is yeah, yeah. 15. He's not going to get past it. He got a two. 15. So he gets it. It gets 1d8. Are we level? What level are we? Five? Five? Oh, yes, five. So it's actually oh, 2d8. I'll roll it real quick. Eight damage. And it's eight. Does that do anything for the guy? Uh the tentacle is on fire, but he has not let go of him. Well, it's it's a uh, fire like radiant damage. Fire. Yeah, it's it's radiant damage, not, not so fire. I guess heat. Yeah. It's holy oh. holy beast. Yeah. So he still takes that damage, but he doesn't let go. Uh, okay. Let me see if he say, yeah, yep, he saves, still grabbing him. He's still holding him. Okay, that's it for me. Argro, right, you're up. All right. Uh, well, I'm going to deal one d12 of damage to it with the witch bolt that is still on it. Six damage. Um, I guess I'll action surge and do that again. There we go. Another ten damage. Oh, shit. So that's another sixteen damage total on that one tentacle. What are you damaging with again? Uh, Witch Bolt. Once I hit it with it, um, I can, as long as I don't do something else with my action, I can just keep dealing uh, 1d12 damage. of damage to it with my action uh, for up to a minute. He broke his concentration and dropped the guy. And you see that tentacle uh flailing back and forth right now. It's still alive, it's just flailing, flailing a lot. Uh, Hofstetter, you uh, saw a guy literally land right next to you. Oh. Hey, Hofstetter, what's your uh, DC? Oh, my AC? AC, sorry. Uh, 16. And he swings, but doesn't doesn't manage to grab you since you flipped out of the way. Hello again, Galleon. Alrighty, I will. You saw one of the move. tentacles go for Hofstetter. I will move right here, and I will try to gun down this motherfucker with my Eldritch Blast. 
I think uh, yeah, twenty one hit definitely hits. Definitely hits. How much damage is doing to that middle one? Seventeen. It's still going. That will end my turn. Adderall, what's your AC again? 19. You just got tossed a guy. Right on you. I can't just dodge that or something? He managed to throw it right at you. Dang. It's going to be a dexterity saving throw. Do, 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 do. I mean, you can decide what what he has to. Let's save see if you can get. Out, let's see. You got to be an eighteen for a deck saving throw. Yep. Nope. Almost. Yep. If only I was proficient in proficient in deck saving throws instead of just having plus five. He. Oh, well. uh, Lands right on you. You're only taking about three points of damage, though. Three? Yeah, that's it. All right. Did that Off center. Is this AC, though? Yes. yes. High AC. It did. All right. Let's see. So I'm basically in melee range but now, right? Oh uh, yeah, you are you're there definitely in melee range. Okay, cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stab it. Which one are you stabbing? The one closest to you? Uh yes. How bad? Fifteen. Uh you missed. Well, shit. I missed the big wiggly Wait, lad. Rip around. He just squiggled around you. Uh, 18 hit, 18 grabs, 18 hits you, right? Who? Me? Yeah, you. Yes. He uh, manages to grab you. Oh, shit. You are now up in the air. Uh, half we, half... Oh, Jesus, God, help. <clears throat> oh, class. Yeah. One of the middle tentacles grabbed them. Let's see, five, ten, thirty. I can go right next to him, right? No, he's in the air. Oh. Um, well, as my bonus action, I'm going to initiate my spiritual weapon. So that's the hammer that we got on here. I'm going to have it form next to uh, Hofstetter. And then I'm going to use Sacred Flame again on the tentacle that is holding Hofstetter. So the creature has to do that dexterity. Saving throw of 15. And then I think that my, I don't know, once I cast the spiritual weapon, can I he use failed. it? Yeah, you can attack with it when you cast it. All right. 14 radiant damage for the my spell. God damn. Uh, 
he does. He lets go of Hofstetter, and Hofstetter falls back down to the floor. Hello. Uh, dexterity saving throw from me. Yep. Oh, I still need to. Hofst- I need it from Hofstetter. Okay. See if he lands on his feet. Damage increase. Oh. Oh, wait, shit, I rolled... Well, it doesn't matter anyway. You only took a point of damage. So I'm going to have my spiritual weapon attack the same tentacle. What is that, 1d8? It's a... I, I looks like I have to do a hit chance, but I don't know what... Yes. It's yeah. just oh. a... Uh, with your uh, spell attack bonus. Oh, okay. Oh, that's plus seven. Wait. Twenty. Oh two. yeah, you hit. <laughs> you it's actually, hit. it's actually two d eight because I used a third Jesus. level spell slot. Jesus. No, oh, only four damage. It's hurt. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> yeah. It's definitely hurt. It's starting to squirm. Okay. Edero. Yep. Do you want to move my hammer in there? I can't move it. Yeah. And I give you control over it. Control by Oak House. Save. Now you should be able to move it. Um. I can move the tentacle. Oh, I gave you the wrong thing. Oops. All right. So, uh, RL, you saw Okos damage the fuck out of this thing. Okay. I will. uh... All right. Now you have access to it. All right. Is it still, uh, is that tentacle I've been probably wouldn't disable my access to that thing? Uh, two of the tentacles are are starting to get really damaged, they have bruises on them, and uh, they're, well, they're starting to squirm. I'm going to zap that one tentacle again, seven damage. It's starting to move a lot now. Like it's barely able to keep its tentacle up now. All right. And it fails to hit Hofstetter. All right then. Galleon? I lit up another Eldritch Blast. I'm not hitting shit. Your Eldritch Blast just went past the... uh... It made a hole in the roof, though. How many turns are in a minute? It's a 10. 10. Okay. Yeah, you got a little bit. Uh, it tries to go for Hofstetter again and misses. Well, that's good. Hofstetter, you've dodged two tentacles. What are you going to do? Fucking stand, little bastard. Giant bastard, whatever. <laughs> 27 to hit. Uh, yeah, that definitely hits. Yeah, I'm just stabbing the closest one.
Oh, my bad. So it does 11 piercing and 2 thunder? Yes. You notice that the tentacle loses its strength and just collapses back in the water. Well, hey. So one tentacle is down. And that was this tentacle right here. Um, should I have mentioned that mine was dealing lightning damage? Would that make a difference? I would have added to the damage. Oh, yeah. Unless, so all oh. of my stuff was lightning damage. Oh. Okay. Uh, my bad. I'll add on the next one. Yeah. Because this is water based. I, yeah, I thought I'd said it like the first time. Also, I mean, it is witch bolt. This is that oh, thing that I needed that. This is that thing that I needed that twig that was struck by lightning for. Ah. Yeah. Uh, one of the tentacles went back for... Man, I am rolling really bad today. Um, yeah, it missed Okos again. I mean, I missed Hofstetter. Okos, you're up. <clears throat> Your hammer is floating around right now. Scott? Oh, what's that? You're up. Okay. I'm going to take one step back just in case and then use uh, Sacred Flame again on one of the tentacles so as to do the Dexterity Saving Throw 15. It barely missed the save. Okay. Seeing as it was created with a level three slot, I'm going to do two D eight damage. Eleven. You can smell calamari. It okay. it crispened from your attack. Okay. And it went back in the water. That tentacle. I'm going to use my spiritual guardian. Oh, that, sorry, that, that uh, attack was my radiant sacred flame thing. And, uh, I think I, I think it was 1D. Yeah, that was fine. Okay, that was good. So one I'm tentacle use, left. I'm going to use the spiritual guardian to, I don't know if I can move and attack with that. Well, you already attacked. You can't. You can only move, maybe. Move uh, or. Let's see. <clears throat> you. Well, I'll I'll move it close to the final tentacle, wherever that is. I can't access it because I still have. Okay, it's okay. moving to the far left tentacle. All right. I'm done. All right, Adderall, you're up. All right. Uh, so is the tentacle I've been hitting still up? Uh, no, that one went okay. down. All right. Far, far left tentacle is the last one up. Well, what do I have that I want to do stuff with? Um Ooh, I could uh uh yeah. Okay. I'm gonna cast chromatic orb at that last one, choosing lightning for the damage. That's a thirteen to hit. That doesn't hit. Nope. That that sucks. Is just able to dodge the, your attack. Well, uh, cool. All right, then. You just That's got one got. more to go, guys. I can only use action surge once, and I already used it. All right, 
That's it for me. Kelly, yep. you're up. I load up and shoot off another Eldric Blast. Yay. Uh, damn, you're still close, huh? Okay. Uh, does a 15 get you, Hofstetter? Uh, no. Okay. You're up. All right. Uh, well, let's assume I just have to move anyway. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to stab from this side. Eighteen to hit. Yep, it hits. Twenty damage. Twelve piercing. Eight thunder. Holy shit! Uh, it took a lot of damage, but it's still going. Well, it's better than nothing. God damn! The arm just dropped right onto you, but you were able to dodge out of the way. Okos. Yeah. Is there anything else to do? Last tentacle. Okay, I'll use my sacred flame again. So it's a dexterity saving throw of 15. Bow, bow. Uh, I got a 16. Okay. I will use my spiritual weapon to attack. Sixteen to hit. Nope. Okay. I'm done. All right, Errol. You're watching everybody struggle to get this last tentacle through. Uh, well, I guess I'll just pull out my sword. You you see the other or, workers just throwing like their javelins at it, but missing. I guess I do have a javelin. Yeah, I'll throw a javelin at it. Show them how it's done. Yeah, and miss. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Well, I'll use my bonus action to summon it back to my hand. So I'm... there's like nobody saw anything. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Galleon, you're just watching everybody mess at this thing. This is getting horrible now. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit there. I'm gonna try to aim up my hand real good while I'm trying to do this Eldritch Blast. <laughs> you're, you're kind of doing like that uh, uh, Star Trek shape. You know, log and prosper, and you're kind of like using that to, <laughs> to to target him with your hand in front of you. All right, come on, man, come on, blast him! It's not you. It's the fly that just came right by your face. You went to go smack it, and you blasted it. How much damage did the fly? Oh, the fly's disintegrated. <laughs> I bet it is. Oh, uh, wait. Does 16 hit you? No, right? Hofstetter? Uh, 16 is my AC, so I think it just hits. All right. Yep. It grabbed you. Oh, fuck again. And now it's your turn, Hofstetter. You have this tentacle wrapped around you. All right. Can I make a save to try and escape? Yeah. All right. Dexterity, I assume? Uh, strength. Oh, Jesus. Athletics? Yeah, it's all going to be strength, pretty much. So you can either use it athletics or strength to pry yourself off this. Uh, okay, I got acrobatics. I'll try that. Ooh. You, with your tiny form, are able to slip through him. All right, and do I get an extra act? Yeah, any extra actions beyond that, or is that just my? You can move. Uh, now stay here. Wait, where am I? Move next. 
It tried to swack you, but you missed. Okos? Sacred Flame on the Tentacle. So 15 uh, decks. 15 decks uh, save. 19. Okay. I'm gonna, is my spiritual weapon within range? Yes. I'm going to attack with that. Twenty two. Oh shit, yeah, you hit now. Okay. So you, it's a level three, so five damage. Still going. RL, finally you saw Ocos hit it. All right. Um I'll throw the javelin at it again. That's a natural twenty. Well, For a total of thirty to hit. You were able to stick your javelin right through the tentacle. All right. And it goes down. You see the entire beast just swirl back down into the bottom of the pit. Woo! Yay! Uh, what happened to the people it grabbed and took under? Uh, assume the tentacles got took took out by now. So I think they would got let go. They were just swimming in, swimming in the brew. Uh they'll be part of our new um dedicated beer to them. <laughs> That's a adventure disturbing brew. statement. Well they did oh, I'll they just call it I'll, I'll call it by the last guy it took. I'll call it a Sam a Sam Adams. <laughs> Gotcha. I guess we don't want no Sam Adams to tell you that. Yeah. Well, that sounds about right. All right, guys, come to my office. All right. So, uh, since you guys helped out, I'm willing to. Get you guys at least a twenty percent discount on tonight's uh, all arrangements and a ten percent discount on all your future orders for helping us. That's beneficial, I assume. Handle this. Oh yeah. I understand that your discretion is advised. See, the thing is, is this legal? Because if it's not legal, and we're going to be poisoning is... our Patrons, hey, do you not do, do you not do you not see my wall here? Do you not see my wall here? I have all city documentations of this wall that gives us full rights to sell alcohol. As long as and we are out. going to get messed up by the government, then I'm fine with it. There's nothing illegal going on here. Okay. However, we choose to brew our fine ales and our new season ale tonight. Uh, we will definitely uh, definitely yeah. have a very uh, a very great day. Uh, just so you know, uh, we're we're working now. These guys are working full shift. Uh, we're gonna have your stuff in. We're gonna get at least half your shipment in right now, and the other half in about an hour or two. Okay. Yeah. Sound good, guys. So yeah. we're assuming you already had our imported stuff. Uh, part of it, yes. Okay. Uh, we couldn't fill the rest because we had this issue that occurred. Well, just know that we're not paying for stuff you make as imported. You know uh, what I'm no, that we call we call it seasonal. So, so you, were you guys, a distributor of that stuff. We are a distributor. We are a maker. We are everything. Okay. Right. We we paid you for. I uh, have the, I have the paperwork here. Hold on. Yes. A uh, tang. Tangent spout. Ten tangier stout. That one? A Shadow Dark Ale and a Northern Brewer. Uh, 
So part part of your order is already ready, and the other part is getting fulfilled as we speak now. Hell, you know what? Just to make it even better, we'll give you one of our new bar- season barrels. <laughs> so I'll so, send you. I'll send you a Sam Adams season one on the house. Oh lord! <laughs> All right. Um. Wait. So, what of our order are we not receiving? Mm-hmm. Uh, right now, your Northern Brewers and part of your Shadow Dark Ale will be on its way. Your Tangerine Stouts yeah. will, it's... and the rest of your Shadow Shadow Dark Ale will be in in about two hours. So your party will be started by then, but the, you should be receiving it as your party is starting. Okay, so this we'll, is a we'll, we'll, we'll at least we'll at least need some of the. The good ale. You wouldn't be able to wrangle yeah. up at least a little bit. Uh, I... Let me take a look real quick. Because uh, that is the really expensive can, stuff. Can we get them at least a barrel for right now to get them going? I mean, if you're if this was because of a staffing issue, we could go there and just make sure our order. Uh, uh, as you see, we're 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 skeleton staff right now. Yeah, that's so, what I'm saying. Uh, we lost about half, if not a little bit more, of our staff after right. this incident. So I'm uh, saying that we can easily go to your distributing area and help make sure that our stuff gets to where it needs to go. Oh yeah, we can uh, help move stuff. That's yeah, not an issue. Exactly. All right, I'll have the cart pulled up. Go in the uh, in the warehouse here. Here are the numbers, and go. I'll have uh, each one of the guys give you a hand. All right. And we should be able to at least uh, get you loaded up within the hour then with this much help. Sounds good. So each one of the guys helps you out, takes you to each one of the barrels, and both of you guys are getting them rolled out there. So it takes you, rough, like you said, roughly about an hour to load up the wagon. Okay. And the wagon, one of the guys jumps on the wagon and goes, okay, I'll meet you guys at your location. Thanks, uh, yep. See you there. You guys are realizing it's getting really close to your opening. Yeah, that's why we're taking it into our own hands. So you're within. Uh, you're really close. So, all right, guys, you got you loaded. Uh, let's see here, fifty, eighteen. Do we need to roll for getting back to the place safely? Oh no! You guys make your way back hustling because you guys are really skipping over whatever you anyone says hi. So you're just moving past them, just trying to shuffle through the crowds. Okay. And then Hofstetter kind of gave you guys a shortcut through the city. Well, didn't we take one of their wagons with beer in it? Oh, you could have just jumped on the wagon <laughs> before it took off. Yeah, I I, I was assuming we. I mean, were... that's. Taking some, yeah, of like, it. yeah, that's, that's a, yeah. No, you guys were loading up the wagon, so that way the wagon was going to take it to your location. Mm-hmm. You weren't carrying it to the location, you're just loading up the wagon, Ugh. right? Right, and I then we thought go that we were going to take then one we of would hop wagons. on the wagon. <laughs> I thought the plan was for us to take the wagon full of liquor to our place, yeah. Oh, the guy, the guy took off in a rush. Well, does anyone have right. tracking skills? Who needs tracking skills when Why? I'm he's, just gonna? He's going. He's heading to your your establishment. Sure. Let's just go quickly. I'm just gonna go on a. a what? Did his mic cut out? Anyone? Uh, Hello? I hear you. That was weird. Yeah, it was. Everyone was robotic. Yeah. So, what were you saying? (laughs) He logged back in, but he's not saying anything, so I'm not sure if he's he's having issues with his phone. Oh. 
you guys double, you know, you guys hustle it back. I triple hustle. <laughs> yeah. So you guys make it back in time. You see the place. You see the uh, location really super clean now. I mean, better than it was last night. Nice. You see that these guys have been hustling to get your place up and looking good. Uh, the minute you walk in, one of the uh, barkeeps welcomes you guys in. The manager uh, walks up to, to you guys. Hey, we are uh, fully staffed, fully ready to go. Looking Neat. good. I tell him we need to start getting this uh, liquor loaded. Oh, yes. The liquor uh, arrived a little while ago. We've been unloading uh, since uh, we've had our barkeeps unloading and awesome. began storing it. Yeah, we went through a, a time getting that. I hope everything went successful. So about this other barrel it's a little different i don't know what you guys want to do with this anyway oh do we are we serving another yeah. alcohol well we're just following the regular we're following the freaking menu oh, okay. we have this, the this, samuel this special Adams. one this is if we run out of everything this is only a last resort barrel okay oh ooh, no wait nope hold on hold on limited run special at uh, what was the what was the most expensive one on the other ones? Where's my freaking cursor? There it is. Uh, we will charge twelve silver for a drink of this, or four gold with the enhancer with special sauce. Yeah, okay. and just call it our limited run, Sam Adams. How many drinks to a barrel? Um, a a barrel versus drinks. And... So we have, uh, of the other things, what we paid for was a total of two thousand forty-eight drinks per type of alcohol. Because I went with bulk prices. Because fuck yeah, bulk prices. Uh, as for. How much is in a barrel? Didn't we decide how many tons were per gallon and how many gallons are in each barrel? So how much is it freaking how many tons per gallon? Or per or... Uh, there's two hundred and fifty six gallons per ton. I'm just trying to figure out how much is in a barrel per se. Fifty I would assume uh, fifty gallons in a barrel. Forty two in a barrel. 42. Uh, what's 42 U.S. gallons per barrel. I should type liquor barrel. How many gallons in a liquor barrel? Nope, I'm sorry. I was wrong. Uh, 53. So just to keep it simple, let's skip it at 50. Oh, I mean, I guess D&D Beyond says a barrel can hold 40 gallons of liquid. Let's go with the D&D. Yeah, okay, just go with All the right. 40. Put it in the thing. 40 barrels. 40. And, and a barrel gallons. of 40 gallons weighs approximately how much? Well, it says 256 gallons per ton. How many tons did we buy of each type? One. So 2,048 for one ton. Yes. Okay. That's how many pints there are, which is what we are serving.
Anyways. Hmm. All right. So they say approximately 10 pounds per gallon. So go from there. Well, it's 256. Oh, hey. I found, I found a measurement thing. So there's eight barrels in a ton. So, yeah. So 240. So that's 256 about... drinks. Yeah. 256 drinks per barrel? Yeah. Yes. Damn. That sounds high. I, I mean, about 40 gallons. Up. Sounds right for about 40 gallons. 40 gallons, that's a lot. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I, can... you know, actually, that makes total sense given that a pint is an eighth of a gallon. Okay. Yeah. Google's your friend. So we can potentially have, unless we try it. We we 256 drinks of that. Yeah. We we could feasibly sell out, but like also, you know, might take us a minute. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah, I think it will will be a little while before we sell out of some of these. Right. But who 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 knows? It'd be better if we sell more. More Mm -hmm. money. True. All right, guys. So the night, uh, night's approaching. Uh, anything you want to say to your staff before the place opens? I'm gonna go to the uh, forge and what start making paid. a sign. <laughs> Sorry, what? Give them a rah rah speech. I was gonna inform everyone what they were receiving in pay and about. Uh, bonuses? Yes. And if, and yeah, and inform them about uh uh start trying to push the higher price stuff. Yeah. Um, they're all they're all listening to you. Okay. I just okay, I don't actually hold on. So how many how many non manager employees do we have? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We should. Yeah, three cooks and one, two, three, four, five barkeeps. Then we had more cooks than that. Oh, okay, and then the two servers. Are you including oh, our two buddies in the cooks? Oh, these two? No. Yeah. Oh. What are where are they gonna what, be? I mean I mean if they were they were cooking, right? Sure. Yeah. Or he was cooking. All right. He was or do you want serving. do you want that what do you want them to do? Do you want them to cook or supervise? Not supervise. One of them was cooking, one of them was serving, right? The turtle's gonna be the super he's gonna supervise the kitchen. He can help yeah. supervise those two morons. Yeah. Okay. Um I thought, wasn't one of them serving? Was that a thing? I think so. He was like between the, he was taking the orders. Oh, you yeah. Guys well, basically, not, essentially serving. You guys did not get waitresses. I thought you we, had, you got, we host he, server people. Nope. He uh, hired barkeeps, a bunch of barkeeps. I thought yes. he also hired hosts. There were the two, two host hosts. servers. Oh, did I mess that up? Hold on. Ah, time to look back at my notes. I mean, because that's what I had in my notes. That's what it, I mean. That's what he sent me. So, <laughs> oh, the halfling. That's right. Oh shit. That's what that icon was for. Now I remember. This is the halfling. All right. Let me fix that real quick. But so that's twelve in point. And we had 14. Uh, well, okay, so 12 
non-manager employees. Two managers and then uh, Ragnar as assistant manager. Yes? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So that's... Well... You got a lot of employees. I mean, with these barkeeps. Mm-hmm. But hopefully, with a lot of employees, we get good reviews and whatnot for all the service. Right. And also, like, normally they'd be working different shifts. Yeah. So, with the barkeeps and the hostesses, they're going to be kind of like a yeah. dual purpose thing for serving and doing bar stuff. Basically, dealing with the customers on the floor, you know? Because we have a ton of barkeeps, which I don't know. When we were hiring, that's what we decided on. There are your two hosts. Barbix and Prisley. Half lean with half lean with the hips that don't lie. Here, babe. I forgot. No, the bread. Bread. Yeah. Just for you. Do you want the cantaloupe? For you. My cantaloupe. Oh, okay. All right. So you guys are you give you do your speech or you give your speech or what? Um. Yeah, about them going to make good money. Uh, we need a real good uh, freaking performance tonight. Yes, and for every five of the cheap enhanced drink, each employee will get two SP, two silver pieces. For each five sold of the uh, the middle one with enhancer, they'll get four silver pieces. And for each five sold of the expensive one, they'll get six. And then, um, I guess, you know what? For every drink sold of the uh, this limited run, if we do with the every drink sold with the drink enhancer, everybody uh, gets one, everybody gets one silver. No, for every, what? For every drink sold of the new one that we have, which we're selling for more than these other ones, even though we spent much less on it. Um. Um, call that well, because, like, what we have to And is our bard here to perform? Oh yeah, you hired that bard for the bar from last time, right? The bard uh, who was here playing, mm-hmm. and you know, we had some type of agreement where he, yeah. he can show up, he would... and he was uh, allowed to put out a little tip thing that he can get. All right, we just got here, guys. Come on in. We're gonna set up in the corner, okay? Yep. Sure thing. You hear him prepping the corner, getting everything going. You hear the door open. Oops, wrong door. You hear the door open. Oh, hello, sir. Uh, We're not open yet. Or I don't believe we're open yet. I'm here to see the guys. As you guys all turn, you see it's Silvermane. How's it going? 
I decided to come and check out your establishment tonight. Where's the VIP section? Uh, you can sit at the bar if you want. Where we can we can do like a VIP section Maybe here. This, uh, this I'm one. asking for the VIP section because I will be having some people coming. Uh, obvious. So this section over here, where we can block stuff off and people can still do things. Yeah. Mm. So probably move the music. You want us by the bar? By the I mean by the music section? No, we should move the music. Where's the music? It was in there. I didn't realize we had alcove. Was it over there? No. Oh, I had no idea. You don't really want music in an alcove like that. Or you mean, uh, or you can do like down here. Yeah, but this is this looks more like a traditional VIP lounge. Just move the music over to the side. Yeah, or over to here where it's not right next to the VIP. Side. Yeah, that's fine. I don't know. Either one. Yeah, um, that way we'll have the music near the bar. Yeah. Excellent, um, gentlemen. Uh, we'll be having a specialty guest here that will uh, definitely be leaving a bunch of coin with you. Can you get your people to put a table and some chairs there? I'll go over there. I'll make it. Well, I'll be back in a few with my guests. Oh, oh crap. Did I just throw them over there? There. Yeah. Now he's, I would say he was huge for a second. Uh, I stuck him in the corner for sure. As uh, the party starts up, people are starting to line up at the door. Oh, those are some nice tables you had there. I'm I'm gonna redo it. All right, I'm gonna move to over here where I don't disturb anybody. More chairs for people. Plus, I can look at everyone from here. Also, for the record, um. I put it over in the uh, Excel sheet, but uh, so we're selling the uh, regular set of atoms for 12 silver uh, and the Sam Adams with enhancer for 40 silver or four gold. And for every one of those sold, each employee will get four silver pieces. Okay. Oh, I have to hit the refresh button to see that. Okay. Yes. Sorry. It doesn't, you know, just automatically update it while I do it, but cool. All right, Rangar went outside to start handling the people. He yells out, whenever you guys give the word, I'll let them in. Um, I think we're ready. Yeah. Thomas stumbles right past him. Oh, guys, this looks great. Guys? What's up? I'm just going to take a seat over here. Did we hire him for something? Yeah, we did. It wasn't any clean up. I don't work till later, so I can drink right yeah. now. He he doesn't work till at the end of uh, the night. So. I'm not on the clock yet. It's 
So just uh, start tossing me a couple of ales this way. Are there any trees over here in this open space? Nope. Don't tell me you're going to try to do a patio. I'm going to build something eventually. Not not right now, but... Number your forge is back there. I mean, down here. This open... We need, like, some Stor sort of... Storage. A, a good refrigeration storage. Yeah. That yeah. can be part of it. I just have to buy materials at some point. Yeah. Later on, I could make a permanent re refrigerator. Yeah. Using freaking... Because Major Image would still make stuff cold. Just not cold enough to hurt stuff. Okay. Wait, what? Major image, it, you can still smell stuff and feel hot and cold. It's just not enough to hurt. Oh, well, so that's, I don't know that it. Uh, it would be cold enough to probably refrigerate. Anything. It might not be enough to be able to freeze stuff, but enough to refrigerate, I would think. Not freeze. Or we could just. I mean, is it a temperature appropriate to the thing depicted? If you used major image to create a refrigerator, it would do the refrigerator things. It just wouldn't be cold enough to cause damage. That's yeah. So it would be able to refrigerate, and later on, I don't have to concentrate or be near it or mm. anything. Like that. Although I don't know if that would work, just because. It is an illusion, so it's making but, it see it feels like that to something that's intelligent. Yeah, I don't know if that would actually work yeah. on objects, real objects put into it. But it says oh. it's supposed to feel, in, but just not enough to do damage. Well, the, so no, 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 no. the meat it, that's inside there is dead, so it can't feel anything. Yeah, it yeah. was still rot at the regular pace. We can find some type of spell or technology or something. Uh, right, uh, guys, I'm waiting for the word here. Go for it. Uh, all right. Open yep. Open up. Come on in. Oh, can I do that? Your hostess. Oh, hello. How you doing? Oh, C for three. Okay, right over here. The bar. Come here. Bar. Seat for two over here. So the place is starting to get packed up here. Got the first rush coming through. Cool. How are we determining what they're buying? <laughs> Maybe. Well, we're not determining. I mean, I'm just rolling yeah, for them. All right. I'm making a real symbol for myself. Because you have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You have eight drinks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. We should probably weight it higher towards the cheaper stuff. I'm just rolling to yeah. see what, what kind of drinks they're going to drink. Wow, I didn't actually just... do that intentionally, but yeah, there are eight options for drinks and eight options for food items. So you can roll D8s just for exactly. whatever. Exactly. Yeah. You got it. Save It'll save you time. It really will. Well, I mean, also like roll. To see how many items one person's gonna buy, I don't know. Well, first is the drinks per person. Oh, all right. Will they get an advantage like late? Well, a, a later to buy higher stuff if they start getting fucked up. Oh, you mean like pluses? Yeah, like they'll start rolling higher stuff to get like higher. Let's say the the higher the numbers, like the higher price of the stuff. You know what All I mean? Right, so there's six people on this first table. One, two, three. All right. So the first person, uh, can I actually type stuff in here or no? Uh, read, read only. Okay. Uh, I, give me a sec. I can fix that. <laughs> da, 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 da. 
I think I can fix that. Yeah, I can fix that. No, not that button. There we go. File, sharing, sharing with people. Um, manage access. One, two, three, table, VIP table. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, here we go. I might have to open that back up again. What? Because Haley was on earlier. Uh. So I guess there'll be two people at a time to watch. I guess. Yeah. Well, you All right. That that link should give everyone access to edit if we need to. We need to increase our thing that way more people can watch. Just gotta in increase it on a uh, Congo and the Comcast, and then increase it. Increase the Netflix. Okay. So there, you can you can now uh, if you click on the link that I just sent to the Facebook chat, um, you should be able to edit. So we're going to be open for five hours this time, seven to midnight. Seven to two. We're, we can stay oh, until two. two. So, yeah. Or did we do six? Was it six, six or seven? Six to two. Okay. Think you got enough table ones there? I'm copying pasting and doing as fast as I can. <laughs> uh, all right, so VIP and then table one, two, three, four, five, six. Cool. So I'll just leave. All right, so uh, one, two, three, table three. Their drinks. One, two. One, two, one. There's what, six people on that table? Three and eight. So there's the first order for the table three. One, two, three. They're also going to put in order for food. Bam. That's the entire order for your table three. One, two. Oh, that's table two, actually. Oops. Copy, paste. 
So your first orders are coming up. The one fourth burger. Quarter pound burger. Double burger. Double cheeseburger. Did we have double cheeseburgers? Yeah, we did. I mean, uh, so that's a half pound. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's, there's no functional reason not to make a double, che- double burger if you're making a quarter pound burger. Yeah, you just yeah. throw an extra patty on. Okay. Add an extra two silver pieces. Okay. Uh, actually, Uriel, what you were pointing at there for that first one is the one pound of wedges. Oh, one pound of wedges. I'm sorry. Yes. Yeah. So that's what they ordered. So one pound of wedges, a double burger, a double cheeseburger. So your hostess brought that ticket up, and she's heading up to the next table. Table two. Oh, wow, two eights. Okay. Table three ordered uh, your Sam Adams, apparently. Classy. Did they go with the cheap version or the expensive version? Expensive version, apparently, and and half wedges. Okay. Uh, so next waitress brought. I mean, the next hostess brought that order up. She's heading over to the third, one, two, three, the fourth table, which has three people in it. One, two, three, six, two, three, four. There we go. They're ordering a pound of wedges. And then you got one table with two people. Doot, doot. One, two, three, four, five. Five and three. And and they're getting to eat a pound of wedges. Damn. Let me be at the bar here. One, two, three, four, five people. One, two, three, four, five. Two, one, two, four, five people. And are you going to use this just to calculate things in the future, or what are you doing with it? Wow. All right, so that's all your orders right now, just to start off. Uh, what's this two sitting at N18 supposed to be? Where? N18. Oh, did I go too far? Gotcha. Okay. I'm trying to do it in a rush as I'm rolling these dice. Okay. No, that's cool. I was just like, uh. So their current, their, these are their current orders right now as the first crew came through. So I don't know which one of you wants to select to roll for how well you guys are doing or how well your people are doing for, you know, table two, table three, table four, table five, table six. Wouldn't that be based on your skill level? You're just seeing if they're they're doing good. Can you roll guidance to make sure we can do extra good? Well, I'd have to go to someone, which I'll walk out on the floor. Which table needs 
check up. Whichever table you want to go to. I'll go to this big one. So you can either roll for the cooks or you can roll for the alcohol. I'm going to first use guidance on the bar because I'm close to it. All right. So the bar will receive guidance. One plus one. <laughs> Better than none, I guess. Uh, one of your barkeeps kind of messed up and didn't clean. Didn't clean the mugs very well. Uh, he poured the alcohol, but you when you look when you grab one of the things to look at the one of the it's got one like of the mouth, mouth marks on it. One one of the guys goes, "Excuse me, sir. Yeah, um, why is there like a stain in my mug?" Is he talking to me or the? Yeah, he's talking to you. Uh, that looks like a mistake. I'll take it and bring you a new one. Oh, okay. Thank you. I'll take it to the bar. Guys, you need to make sure the stuff is clean. And I point to the whatever is in it. Oh, we don't know how they got there. We're, we're we 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 use the scrubbers, but we'll 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 make sure. I mean, we li- we have a humongous number of barkeeps right now. They're they are trying to do their best to keep up with the orders that are coming in. Yeah, well, I'm gonna go to the managers because I mean I shouldn't be managing and tell them. So you come across. It's Jasmine. Is it Jasmine? We could add our unseen servants to help out in here if we need help. I can't. I've used all of my first level spell slots for the day. Priscilla's a host. This guy's a barkeep. Where the hell did I put the managers at? Uh, There's one right here. Okay, I will uh I will watch over that, and make sure that the, every single one that leaves before it gets to the table must be inspected by me. Mr. Okas, okay? Yeah. This one so not in happening. our final calculations we're gonna have to include like a percent of waste. Oh yeah. That's so fair. just bring up waste orders, it's fine. I'll make a thing for that. So Kamin, Kamin uh, is going to spearhead the watching over the bar section. All right. So you went to go check on that. What about you two or any of you three? What are you guys going to do? Uh, Hofstetter. Hofstetter. Hello. Do you guys hear him? No. No. <laughs> there you go. Can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah, now we hear you. Okay, I don't know what happened there. Uh, What did you need from me? What am I uh, doing? Do you want to check one of the tables, see how things are going for them? Sure. Which table would you like to check? Oh, boy. It was... That there's an actual bar, and there's yeah, one the, down here. We have the bar tables. Number three, well, number two was just checked. Or the VIP. I assume VIP. People Not yet. Okay. Okay, I'll check on the uh, the window people here. All right, that's table checked. one, two, three. Number table number four, which has three people. All right. Why don't you roll me a d20? See how they're. How their uh, drinks came along. Oh, all the drinks look good. You guys uh, having a good time tonight? Oh, yes, yes. It's lovely. Oh. These, uh, let's see what they ordered here. Yeah, this, this premium drink, oh, it's to die for. I'm sure it was. 
It's a limited edition, so guys. Oh, I didn't get your limited edition. Oh, you didn't. I just got one of your premiums. Oh, the limited edition is something else. Truly uh, something to die for. The SA. <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys, you hear that? We should try the limited one. How long is that run going for? Uh, until we run out. We only have a few barrels. Uh, one eight barrel. We have one barrel. Oh, can... one barrel. Oh, oh, one barrel. Uh, can we get a, at least uh, at least get one of them here for us, please? I'll see what I can do. So put in order for one. Yeah, okay. You should probably tell them how much it costs first. Which which type. Oh yeah, go Bell go find out. <laughs> Bell find All right. Uh Galleon. Yes. What table are you checking on? Uh what your tables are left? Uh Let's see here. Two's done. Three's done. We still have table four, table five, and the bar area. I guess I'll uh, take four. <laughs> so any any time like uh, an item is like made but then like thrown away, uh, put a tick in its respective waste items co- item uh, box in the sheet. Well, you lost one it was like a whole set no just one okay one of the people was there complaining about it you lost one all right uh you got these two people right here roll to see how their drinks came out uh what am i rolling d20 hmm so they wait, they flag you down. Excuse me, do you work here? Uh, I'm the I'm the owner of the establishment. Oh, uh, we've been waiting for our food for a while. For a while, uh, I'll make sure to get on it right away. I'll go uh, make sure you have it. Okay, thank thank you. Kind of really. What was you... what was your order again? Uh, let me see here. One, two. Well, we ordered some. I'll just go ask for table four's stuff. Okay. And make oh, a honest. burger. We I ordered a burger. A burger. Yeah, medium. Is that is that for the whole table or just this one person? No, just the one person. All right. I'll go back to the back and make sure. And add, uh, we need a, a medium burger for table four. Uh, yeah. Uh, they'll be coming up soon. We're finishing up the other orders, and we'll be start rushing them out there. I summoned my unseen servant to be able to take out orders to people. They rush out number five's order to get out now. So the customer's happy. Adderall. Arderall. Yes. What table would you like to check? Uh, there's uh, table six and the bar. Um... Okay. Uh, I will check on table six. Roll me a d20. Six. Uh, as you approach and ask them how they're, how they're, Drinks are. Should the bard be in the, uh, inspiring all of us with his play? Those were the rats. The bard was yeah. doing stuff too. No one's tipped them. I see. Maybe they should play better. 
<laughs> so as uh, as you're asking them how they're doing, they kind of scoff at you, and they're just like, you know, I thought this drink would be a little more better. Which drink did you get? Uh, TS. Oh, the Tinag Tinag Tart. Yep. Yeah, our worst that one. Our, our what? Our worst stuff. No, that's the best stuff. Oh, the best stuff. Uh, I heard this was supposed to be imported, but I, I I've had Tenegar before and just doesn't taste like it. That's curious. Hmm. Weird. I'll have to bring that up with my supplier. Because we just got that shipment in today. Mm. We do have our custom brews that you might want to check out. Yes. Give him a uh, freebie. Ad- Adderall is the one talking. Oh. Yeah, I will uh, I will offer him one of our um, custom brews uh, for free. Uh, uh, to make up for it. Which the Tana, one, which the Tana one? Guard one, but with the special stuff. Oh, your premium Tana Guard? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'll, I, will def- def- I will definitely try that if that's better than this uh, stale one. Yes. Can you bring him over? He sips on He goes, oh, now this is Tana Guard. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-huh. Yeah. This oh, is yeah. what I remember right here. I'll I'll make a note of this guy's face. Uh so if he ever comes in and tries this shit again, I will not sit with it, but yeah, for now. We'll we'll let that ride. <sighs> Yeah, if we have bad stuff, I mean, it's a ton of it. We'll have to, like, dilute it to good stuff. So far, that's the only complaint of the Tanager Stout. And also, if he's saying what that the enhanced version is what he remembers, then I don't necessarily believe him. Right. So, I'm yeah. I'm just saying we should keep track of that stuff. Excuse me, I would like to, uh, the premium, the VIP section, please. It, sh- it should be on wait hold for me. I have reservations. Who's he talking to? Oh, to the bar, to the host. You see Silvermane walking with his guests. I w- <laughs> yeah, we waved the host, host, host over to go seat them. Do I see it? Do you see the guests? Yeah. Do I see them come in? Oh yeah, you see them go. We, you know, snake through the crowd. I'm gonna walk Get over there. there. Oops. Ah, see the guy, guys. Let me uh, introduce you to one of the owners here, Okos. Greetings. Hello. Hi. Hello. Fine establishment you have here. Thank you. Anything on the menu? Effort. Anything on the menu you would recommend us to try out at first? Yeah, uh, our was it TS? And uh, I don't our have special, a list. Yeah. Hold on, let me pull up the our custom TS. <laughs> yeah, we have a lot of custom brews that are special to the area. Oh, uh, would you say those are your best brews? Definitely. I will take your best brew. Yeah, we actually oh, have the, one. A limited, we have a limited one. Yeah. Yeah, we actually have super limited. An extremely limited special brew. He slaps gold on the table. Oh, I got the first round. For everyone? Okay. For all of us to try. Let's see what this special round is. All right. Sounds all right, good. Alright, so that's how many on the VIP? <laughs> I'm rec- I'm uh, right now there's five people there's five there's five people in there. I'm gonna right, so like, he just got five of the Sam Adams. Yep. Sam Adams specials. Cool. Yep. 
I'm also going to... Excuse me, I'm a bit hungry. Yeah, we have uh, various items. Uh, they keep telling me about wedges you wedges, guys saw here. Uh, potatoes, yes, definitely. Specially Is that... made to uh, have crunch and softness. Is that for like a single person or like multiple people or? Yeah, uh, you can order it by yeah, multiple. Half pounds like a single order, and the full pound is the double order for multiple. You can people. get, a f let's say, get two full orders, which would be enough for the group. Then two orders, then please, for all of us. So those are a one pound wedge double. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, we have cheeseburgers. So if you're into meat, chicken. Oh, no, sticks. just a slight, a light snack for me. Thank you. We also have the cheese sticks. Yeah. Uh, cheese sticks? Right. It is similar to the wedges, but cheese so is base. So cheese that you sell? Uh, not quite. It's, Actually, it's, cheese. I'll... it's cooked cheese. I'm going to mm. fry cheese. I'm gonna add this I will. As a I will get one of those to try. To 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 try. I'll have this one as a freebie. How's that? One oh, thank six. you. Uh, Silver Bean goes. I want your biggest burger. All right. I don't know why I'm taking orders, but yeah. Okay. You're the one that walked up there, so they're just treating you like. Yeah, that's fine. Well, given them special service, I guess, because they're VIP. I have my notebook. So that was what? Two one pound wedge orders? Two yeah. wedge orders. A free cheese stick. Yeah. And also. And so, uh, so, Silverman ordered your biggest burger. The double cheese burger. So that would be the. The triple? <laughs> and this is a triple? <laughs> no. So, I mean, does he want. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You have a triple burger here? <laughs> I will take your triple burger. <laughs> Fuck the, it, sure. The triple is on our special. Hidden menu, so. Oh, secret, yeah. secret menu. See, secret guys, menu. I told you I would connect you guys with good stuff. Ask him if he wants cheese or not. Do you want triple cheese on the cheese board or no Ooh. cheese at all? I'm on a diet, so I'll say yes. Got triple it. Cheese. Okay, so that's just a gold. <laughs> so <laughs> if it's a triple burger with cheese. Now, I'll tell him the price. Because that's just 10 silver. Okay. I'm writing this into my notebook. Just start a tab for us. Keep track of it. So is that everything for, for now? Yeah, just to get us started. I'll quickly take this over. I'll come back and we can talk a little bit. So I'm going to take it to the whoever's taking orders. Yep. One of the waitresses, one of the hostess, run up to you, Brixie, and she grabs the order from you and starts so to run it over. ASAP orders. Runs it over to the, you know, to the yeah. bars, and the bars are really quickly. I'll write VIP. Exp expediated on it on the paper. V VIP, we need these immediately. And the manager gets involved too and starts to hurry up these drinks just to get them out. Okay. She so, rushes back. She rushes back past you. You just see like these little feet run past you. Starts filling up the orders and then goes back to hosting. I'm going to go over to the bar down here and uh, throw gold in the hat and really get fucking the party started. Oh, I thank you. He starts to move around actually with his uh person then as they play along the bar. Nice. And now I'm gonna do my major image now that everybody's been drinking for a while. I'm gonna put a, a light fog across the floor and freaking a starry sky with freaking starlight coming down on just lights just blinking all over the place. <laughs> The barkeep switches. I'm not the barkeep. The musician switches his music to like space kind of music, like wondrous music, ambience. 
yeah, gives a nice, you know, feel for the for the place as uh, the VIP section stands up and looks at everything. Oh. Illusion spells, gotta love them. Copy, paste, paste. A new crowd walks in. Does Rengar get any questionable hints from them? Uh, no, he's just looking them up and down. Just guys in cloaks. I will. Are they going to? Uh, she lets them know that it's going to be a wait. For a seating of four. So they go towards the bar to get drinks. They're doing that thing where they just, you know, just standing around with their drinks as they wait. I will, uh, I will head over in that general direction. Maybe attempt to strike up conversation. They're all turned to turn uh, to each other. They ordered, uh, they ordered, your, they ordered four T T S S plus. Whoa. I'm gonna put it under the uh, bar. Yeah, was it I mean, custom that's, that's, or was it regular? The the pluses are the customs. Okay. Yep, they're tasting. Yeah. They're they're sitting there when. Uh, roll to see if you notice anything. What they're doing. Um. I'm constantly alert. God, I have too many things open right now. Uh, no, 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 no. What am I? Yeah, he wouldn't be surprised by anything that they do. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> His we'll alert see. is if they if they act or if they're going to be aggressive or anything like that. Yeah. Perception? Yep. Fifteen. You notice that they're sitting there. Do you ever see somebody who tastes wine, like just puts it in their mouth, gargles it? Trying ah, to see but it doesn't it. swallow. You know, trying, trying to see what flavors are in there? That's what they're doing. But not like swallowing. And, and you can hear them going, I taste a little grape, maybe. Do you think it's just, I think it's cranberry. Don't don't you think it's no, it, it has a Oh no. Doesn't have they, a lot of trying to steal our yeah, they're no they're trying to steal our ideas. They're people from other taverns. <laughs> that are their hipsters. I taste a, a bit of oak in there, I think. No. Mm. Mm. Yes, yes. Uh I Mm. <laughs> That's so pretty you, high level. If they're, you can hear them washing it back and forth in their mouth, like <laughs> oh someone slapping their their lips together, like hmm, this is they uh... gargle it. Yep, the other guy and the other the other one's like oh, <laughs> mm. oh man, berries. I think it's berries in here. <laughs> they might be good to. I the offer case, them. Uh, I, I, I wonder. A look I wonder what menu. I wonder why they taste so good. Though. Oh, oh, thank you. Uh, this. Hmm. Yes, we also have food items here uh, to go we're, with we're, uh, we're, whatever it is you're doing. We we would like to. Uh, we would like to have eat, but there are no seats right now available for us. See. Give me one moment. There's four of us right now. Uh, no, 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 no. 
I feel like we can make some sort of standing space with tables that aren't really tables. If you, you know, draw, like how some bars if, have like standing tables. If you draw yeah. a circle, I'll accept it as a table. Like you, you move the table somewhere. Pull something from upstairs. Yeah. You pull a table from the back. Or like, like from upstairs, like just, just like maybe Don't like a tall, like here, a. That's three like, seats. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, no, like, um, like should we? You know, like where you have like standing tables at bars, where like you, it's a, it's a place where you can set your stuff down, but you're still like standing at it. Right. Yeah, because yeah, the like they're up real high. There's high yeah. tables. Yeah. Yeah. Um, like basically pull something from upstairs that I'm sure had like a vase on it or something. Um, Should we set something out? What's the weather like outside? It's a nice day. Is it like super packed and Does inside? Not fucking stay? It's getting packed, as you can see. I'm gonna walk up to oh my god off center. Is there a way to make it stay? What's happening? Hmm? I'm trying to have a thing. Oh, I guess there's no way for me to draw it and have it stay on the thing. But yeah, just like a fucking. It should stay. I don't know why it's not. Can you beacon where you're trying to draw a circle or something? Yeah, give me a sec. Hold on. There we go. Now it's dead. Oh, you threw a circle right there. Okay, now I see what you did. Yeah. Drag that down from upstairs. There you go. Now you have something you can, you know, set your drinks on, like oh, any food. We'll take those. Uh, we'll take a those wedges you have. And sure. Did you? How many orders did you want? Uh, how how many come in the wedge? Uh, how many fuck, does a wedge? Written down. How much does a wedge a wedge feed people? I want to be able to get all four of us. Trying out your your thing. Um, Two one pound orders. Six. Uh, no, I was going to sell them half pound orders, more than one half pound order per person, unless they wanted to do one pound orders per person. Right. Uh. Yeah, let's see what where what I can sell them. Um, oh God, it was uh, so like six to eight wedges per potato, and about three potatoes to a pound. So. Um, I, uh, okay, but how many come in an order? Uh, no, that was, um, trying to do the math on that. Because so, they're watching you, like, space out, trying, like, touching your fingers, trying to figure this out. Just give them two one So, first. there's, there's about, um, 12 in the, ha in the half pound order and 24 in the We'll take the twenty pound order. We'll take okay. the twenty four. And how many of those would you like? Just one for now. Just the one order of them? Mm-hmm. Okay. Did you want any burgers or wings? Or whatever the hell it is we're serving? Chicken strips? Um, yeah. Uh, chicken strips. Oh, uh, we'll take uh, one set of chicken strips. Okay. Yes. That one. Nope. Yep. There you go. So they take that order. As they, you can see them still sloshing and trying to figure out the drink. And we've still not sold a single thing of mozzarella sticks. Oh, you did? No, we I gave did. one. Oh, you gave um, one. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. You can put it under waste, I guess, because it's... Uh... I did. Yeah, but uh, anything that's not 
sold is getting put in the waste column. So like waste slash promo, but you know, it maths out. So all the foods and drinks are coming around. Do you guys want to check tables? Now that the food's out? I quickly go to the crew and said, do you think we should set something up outside? Like a few tables or in this area? I don't think we want to get in, in, uh, involved with stuff that can happen outside. Yeah. Maybe in the future. Are there people waiting right now? Um, no. As of right now, no. Okay. But you do see, you can smell the food in the air now. As your hostesses run around giving out their their food. I'm going to check up on the bar, main bar. All right. If... Can you roll me a, Perception? a d20? No, just a d20. Eleven. They don't actually have much to complain about right now. They're they think the food's good. They're pretty buzzed right now. Okay. So they can't really. They don't have any complaints really because they're kind of you know mm-hmm. at that phase where you're kind of drunk and you. Food just tastes good. I'll talk to myself. <laughs> or if there are a couple, I'll talk to both of them. How are you doing? Uh, we're doing great, actually. Uh, are they together? Got... Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah, our uh, things you got... hadn't decided on. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Uh, we split a cheeseburger Girl together, fun. and uh, it's great. Nice, nice. Have you had anything like that before? It's yes, it's very similar to what we've had at the Yawning Portal. Really? Yeah, they have uh, state burgers. Ah, yes. Okay. Good old fucking steak and shake garbage. Interesting. But, but theirs are thinner than yours are. Yours are a little more thicker. Yes. Damn. So they, they come out, like our set come out really juicy. Nice. I'm, I'm glad. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yes, it's, it's pretty good. So are you visitors to the area or are you locals? We're locals. We're from up north. Okay. We just received, you know, a word about your grand opening today and we decided to check out a new bar. Awesome. Awesome. Enjoy yourselves. And thank I, you, thank you. Mm. Can we get some more of that red stuff? Oh, sure. I'll. I'll I want to add it to my burger. Definitely. We don't have it on the burgers. Nope. No, usually you put that stuff on the side at a restaurant, and the people add it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Or you ask Catch them up? if they would like it on it. Yeah. It depends on where you go. Uh, Hofstetter. Mm-hmm. Who are you checking on? Well, uh, unless someone's checked on the table I checked on last time, I'll go checking on them again. Uh, that was to hit one, two, three. Uh, four, I think. Four. All right, roll me a d20 real quick to see how their food came out. Woo! Quick Nailed it. <laughs> As uh, you approach them, uh, how, mm-hmm. how, how are you going to approach them? Just like pop up behind them. How's everything going for tonight? You <laughs> can you hear? Oh, mm, oh, mm, oh, mm, 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 Mm-hmm. The stealth waiter who just fucking pops up as soon as you put food in your mouth. <laughs> yes, yeah. exactly. That asshole. This is good. Hundred percent. All right, glad to hear that. Mm-hmm. You guys, let me know if you need anything. Okay, well, mm, well. Oh, where'd he go? <laughs> it's just gone. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> roll for stealth. Roll for stealth. He get extra advantage in the fog. Oh. Oh shit. I rolled poorly on stealth for once. But you get a you got, you get you got, advantage because of the fog. You got you got uh oh there's there's fog on the floor now. Remember when I said there's fog on the floor and there's stars in the sky and oh, the stars are shoot are the stars are shooting down like lights like freaking lights out of club, you know what I mean? So Yeah, I'm gonna uh, look for that catch up real quick. So he did that, he did that. Uh Galleon, you're up. All right, what tables do we have left here? Uh, well, not, we got, we got a lot bar. of tables. It I don't was think the bar one went to this one. The bar was checked right now. The bars are no, checked. These so two guys table four and the bar were checked. Right, so what do we have left to check then? Table five, table six. Uh, that group up there, table two. Uh, well, I take two. All right, so that's the group of six up there. Oh shit. So, can you roll me a d20? What the hell is that? My roll glasses. Yeah, bro. <laughs> so, they, they, <laughs> you go. Uh, sir, excuse me, sir, sir, you get the finger in the air. Sir? Yes, ma'am. You snap! You, you now they're snapping their fingers at you. Excuse me! Excuse me! Excuse me! You, you work here? Excuse me. What would do you need, ma'am? Um, these wedges we got are soggy. I mean, look. If you grab one of these, they're just wobbly. Uh, first the bad, first the bad, the bad, not the clean. Beer and now we're getting soggy wedges. Is this because we sent the beer back? Because it was dirty cups. No, I will go make sure that the uh, your uh, <laughs> your wedges are taken care of properly. I'll be right back momentarily. Here, here's the other basket too. Can we just get a, a fresh fry? Can we get fresh wedges, please? Yes. I'll, all right. I'll go take this back to the kitchen. I said we need fresh. All right, make sure you, make sure you come back to me. My name is Karen, so uh, make sure. You yeah, I was waiting get for that. that. Yeah, sure. Uh, Karen. Get that order correct, please. Thank you. I was waiting for that name. Yeah. This is so I'm gonna take these back. I take them back to the kitchen. So <laughs> we need a fresh order. Uh, make sure they're crisp. Apparently, these are soggy. Oh, a matter of fact. Just refry these motherfuckers. She oh. is a bitch. <laughs> uh, order sixty six, guys. Order sixty six. We have an order sixty six, guys. Can, My ears uh, perk, perk up at that, and I look around the room. Can uh, we? Uh, Do I see any Jedi? <laughs> <Shh>. <laughs> <laughs> So, as uh, the order comes back out, as you take her the order back out, she grabs it, like, just rips it out of your hand. <sighs> oh, these are, these are much better than that last set you did. Thank you. Uh, I hope you appreciate these to the bottom of your heart. Uh, you have a great night. Oh... <laughs> I'll try. Oh, this, as you turn around, you can hear, oh, the surface around here is just awful. Uh-huh. Okay, Karen. All right. So that leaves uh, Adderall. You pick a table now. Um. All right. Let's go look at... You still have the I'll VIP table, FYI. Yeah, I'll go check the VIPs. All right. Can you roll for the drinks and roll for the food? So, two D20s? 
Yep. Well, that's a natural 20 on the drinks and a four on the food. So they are enjoying the uh, Sam Adams that you guys brought out. Mm -hmm. They are talking the town about it. Like, oh my god, I see why I should come back here again. But they don't like the triple cheeseburger. Uh, what did we order for them again? Let's see here. Are you with yeah, the VIP? They yeah, got the wedges. One triple cheeseburger. Roll me, roll me a D uh, two. And we'll go one and two and see which one goes here. I can do a D4 and divide it by two. That's fine. Three higher oh, up. So. so the triple cheeseburger. Uh, well, first? round, round, round down because it's just. Well, because it's a D4. Well, be no, three, so it's four, a D4. One, two. Be a two. Oh, I mean, I, I guess if you're doing it that way. Yes, because I was just being like, if it's a one. The or, triple, well, yeah, so yeah, the triple two. cheeseburger that was mm -hmm. given to Silvermane was overcooked. He's like, gentlemen, uh, I thought I asked for medium. We never. Yeah, I should have asked them about. I guess it's a restaurant, so they care about that. No, uh, looks like your looks like Did your it... your lizard friend might have uh, coughed over this because it looks burnt as hell. That was flipping rude. I'm glad I wasn't there. <laughs> God, this town is full of racists, and he's our associate. So yep. he's, had, like he's had a couple. Yeah, that means he's racist. He's had a couple of drinks. He's open about being racist when he's drunk. He's still racist when he's I'm, not drunk. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But no, for real. Uh, can he get picks it up and gives it to you? Can you please handle this? Yes, I will. I will remake this for you personally. All right. Can you make it a quad cheeseburger then? Uh, yeah. Sure. <laughs> you want a pound of meat on this burger? I am starving. Uh, okay. I must warn you, there are health risks involved in that. Just as there are health risks involved in eating medium cooked meat. Is that okay with you? And another order of Sam Adams for everybody. All right. I guess the alcohol will kill off any germs or anything. Bacteria. Who the heck knows what's in that one? Hmm. <laughs> Damn. Oh, God. Uh, yeah. I'm not even going to bother ringing. <laughs> I don't know exactly what that is. So. The wedges, they're liking, though. How about the mozzarella stick? Oh, those are actually coming out really good. I'm sure Free made it more. One, two, three. Table four saw the mozzarella sticks and wants an order of that. I can deliver that to them. So table four is like, hey, with those cheat things, uh, they look pretty good. Can I get an order? And another round, same thing for us, please. Thank you. All right. I'll just, if there's orders ready, is it, orders ready, I'll deliver them to them via mage hand so I just don't have to do any walking. This table just got up. You there, said it was table four who wanted another round of drinks and the mozzarella sticks? Yes. Yeah. Table two just paid their bill and they're leaving because they just didn't appreciate the service. Or Karen kind of pushed everybody out. Like we can go somewhere else better. Uh yeah, pocket. I'm gonna pickpocket Karen on the way out. 
uh, roll for me stealth? Oh, God. Hmm. Well, sleight of hand. Sleight of hand, sorry. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, my bad. Oh, thank mm. God. <laughs> uh, you took a, a five gold out of her pocket. Super. She didn't notice because of the fog. Did you do that before or after they paid? After they paid. Yep. Okay. She's like, have a nice day. Although they didn't tip. Oh, they did not tip. They didn't have much more much well, money tipped to now. here anyway. Cheap what was that table I... two? Yeah, that's table two. They just left. Now we have a big table open for another big group. I'll make her Karen. I'll just leave her to the side. All right. There's a group of four coming in. So she's just going to sit them down in that area. As the music goes up, you can hear, you can, everyone's looking at the sky like, ooh, ah. Looks like everything's flowing out nicely. The barkeeps are keeping up. Let me roll for them real quick. Yep, they're keeping up with their orders, and so have the... The cooks have been keeping up with their orders. And... Uh, can you get... Uh, Sam? Hmm? Can you add one to everything on the orders again? For which table? All. All of them? Every. Uh, except for the Sam Adams. Okay. All anything that's not premium up. Also, didn't table two leave? They did, but this is we're just gonna add mm -hmm. on okay. to it. Just adding on to it. Okay. Yeah. Also, why do we have a table one and nobody's at it? Uh, there's still people a, come in. We didn't have a small enough group for a three person table. Ah, uh, okay. So, one more of everything. Got it. And another two people just came in. So, they're sitting at table one now. It's a little crowd in that section, by the way. Who is this? Who's who? This this person. Good question. She is with the current group that just showed up. Oh, no. She's with the VIP team. VIP oh. group. You could put her. Yeah, that's fine. That way it looks a little more. Yeah. So these two are sitting at this table now, VIP one, or I mean, table one has people now. Let me roll for them real quick. Oh, no, it's a D8. Uh, what is that? Six and eight? Six and eight. That's one and one. One, two, seven, and five. Seven. Oh my god, we are making so much money tonight. That's a good thing. So they're making their food, and now... Oh, uh, table two. One, two, three, four. Table two is ordering... Eight, six, 
five and four. And four. And food wise, that, that, six and six. So they're in two G Marches burgers. No, not yet. <clears throat> all right, all their orders are now in. So they're just waiting on their orders to come out. So remains food came came back, and he is plowing down on that quad decker. But he's plowing down like that kind of like drunk plow when you're someone's eating. No. No. You guys got the place pretty packed, like for opening night. Yeah. And everyone's doing well. Can you guys Chick, uh, one person to roll for the cooks, and one person to roll for the bar. I'll, I'm by the bar. I'll do that one. All right. Roll Okaz has the bar. I don't, don't want to roll. I've been rolling bad. <laughs> uh, five. Who's rolling for the cooks? Uh, uh, I'll do it. Yeah, good. I'm doing something. <laughs> All right, so the cooks are doing a bang up job, no issues. But Okos, you can hear from where you're at, glass shatter. Oh my! At the at the bar. I'm gonna go over there. So it looks like a set of drinks that were supposed to go out fell. Okay. I'm gonna freaking add in to my illusion a big freaking like the Northern Lights Aurora go across the ceiling. So that way, freaking. Can you to... can you roll me a performance? Performance. Why would I have to do a performance? Well, Just it's... to see how beautiful it looks. Oh, okay, I got you. Oh, they are in transit. You hear? Ooh, ah. So that way, I distract them from the breaking glass and stuff. Wow, like, no, everybody heard it, but they, instead of looking towards the bar, they looked up because the lights just started to show up. And everyone's like, oh, wow, I, I've, I've only seen that when I'm up north. I've never seen it down here before. Some people believe they're looking at the sky. Well, because it looks like the sky. I mean, it looks like you're looking into the sky. It doesn't look like it's a ceiling at all. But everyone's like amazed by these lights as the bar keeps start cleaning up uh, the broken glass and start setting up the new drinks again. I'll just be sure that they get the right orders back. Number three, number three. So you lost two Sam Adams on that one. On the black, on the the glass breaking. Okay. So that's what you lost was two Sam Adams. And it's already getting late. It's coming up the, the time. The VIP section closes out their tab. And you were left with additional five gold tip. I mean, the tips will go to the server slash bartenders. But Silvermane and his team, his group, have left. They are very, very satisfied with tonight's. Oh, he's going to get some of it back. Yeah, right. <laughs> table two, what is it? Table six is closing out. 
they're leaving for the night. The uh, expert team wanders out, plays out for their tab as well. People are leaving the bar. Night's coming down to a final wind-up. Grab the wrong thing. Definitely grab the wrong thing. Thomas like, I guess I got to get up and start grabbing the mop. Let me go clean tables. He's still holding a beer in his hand while he's cleaning tables. The uh, kitchen has already started to close down. They've started their cleaning. And the bar keeps already starting to clean up their area as well. As Thomas goes table to table clean, everyone else, all the hosts do the same. And your night's coming down to an end. Everyone looks tired. They were everyone's worked their ass off. You had one manager on top of Wisps watching the the uh then the, she ended up switching over to the kitchen to make sure the kitchen was good while well, what's your name? While the other one watched the uh bar area, make sure that was uh that was working just fine. Ragnar came back inside now that they're done for the night. So if we, if we actually do get this level of business every day, we'll probably have to adjust our staff because I don't want to be working. Yeah, we might have to get just a few more people. Well, we didn't really have to be working. Our staff could have done it. We were just here for the first night, really. You guys were filling out the place, seeing how, how the service was. So we have three barkeeps. One, two, three, four. One of them was also serving. Oh, this green thing? Yeah, he's serving as well. I don't see a name on it. Oh, it's there. Okay. Hectus. Uh, anything you want to tell to the staff before they leave tonight? Nice job. Uh, are we gonna uh, pay? Are we gonna pay them off their tips for tonight, or uh, the bonuses? Yeah, just yeah. give me a sec to finish calculating it. Yeah, everyone from the kitchen now came up in front. The other two managers, they should be right next to each other. Hostess. Barkeeps. Uh, he's packed up for the night as well. Uh, everyone's sitting there patiently, like already grabbing their stuff. And don't forget, we're gonna donate anything that didn't get freaking, you know, used tonight. 
Well, you still have it next day. Well, I'm pretty sure we're not going to serve day old freaking bread. That's your guys' call. What do you uh, guys? It depends on what type of bread it is, because you can buy a a low like. I guess current technology is different, but if you buy like pack, past plastic, bread, think of the bread. bread will last you about a week. Okay, so. But you need a refill. Basket. I mean, we scheduled various things. Uh, yes, there is a. Let's see here. Well, anything that like people sent back or stuff like that, we can go donate it to like. Oh no, that's that's daily, dude. The bakery delivers day, daily. Okay. So yeah, we should we should give out any of the perishable. Yeah, stuff to get sent. Yeah, some stuff to get sent back and other stuff, and just donate it and earn favor with the small people. And keep some of it to eat for ourselves. Uh, hey, Okas. Yeah? Feels weird taking a bath every day. Who's talking to me? Hell, Kumar. Why does it feel weird? We've never been this clean before. Get used to it. It's good. Yeah. There's nothing bad about it. I smell so fresh. Yeah, that's good. Well, now I smell like food. True. So you can take a bath. Do do I see anything weird on them or anything? Oh no, they're just uh, clean. They're big, they're cleaner than when you first met them. That's good. <laughs> You guys keep this up. You stay off the uh, smoking, whatever that was that one time. And you'll be all good here. Hey, the what we do is what we do. At least we stay focused on what we need to do. As long as it stays out of the business. It doesn't affect your performance. So is that it? Uh, I'm just waiting on uh, Sam to do his stuff. Okay, I changed how much each employee gets every time we sell five of each of those special drinks, and for every one of the Sam Adams Plus. Um, so, yeah. Basically, the, each employee is getting an extra... So you, some of the employees are getting a little restless. They're just like, hey, uh, I know I want to get paid, but uh, it's getting late tonight. It's already like yeah, okay. 3 um, in the morning. So each employee is getting an extra 18, 20, an extra 23 silver mm. on top of 
however many hours this was. It's supposed to be eight. Is that about what it was? About, yeah. yeah. Six to uh, two. Actually, it should be seven because of breaks. Or 7.5. Keep it simple, an hour break. You just split it up. Yeah, but we also started like an hour earlier, right? No, we started our regular time. It was uh, supposed to be six to six. two. Well, like the employees started working. Oh, true. Like an hour early. Yeah. So call it eight hours of work. Um. I go to bed. Okay. How much did I say? An extra 23? Yeah. All right. So each non uh, So each host gets. Uh, 23 silver and 8 copper. Each bartender gets 24 silver and 2 copper. Um, plus whatever tips get split between those guys. Uh, and then each cook gets 25 silver. Give me one second. <clears throat> So I wasn't keeping track of what tips were happening. It's okay. All right, can you run that by me again? All right. So each each host or server gets twenty three silver, eight copper. Uh, each bartender gets twenty four silver and two copper. Each cook gets twenty five silver. And managers go get paid at the end of the week. Okay. Because I'm not doing that math in these 10 seconds right here. That's all right. So everybody walks away happy. Oh, yeah. They got paid like a fucking month's wages for a night. They, they left really happy. They will definitely be back to work. And that's where we'll leave it at today.